Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's let's take a look on to the code, uh, how we are requiring the SQLize and how we are getting the connection object from the SQLize and how we are actually creating the, the data in the database. So when we use ORM, ORM comes with a lot of features. Uh, if I talk about one by one, they provide you the way to seed the database, migrate the new tables in the database, do the validations, provides you the types which you wanted to map with the database table columns in your object model of Node.js. So a lot of features will be there. One feature is just you define your models here. It will be able to create those tables in database. Right? You are not going to create manually any kind of table. You are not going to alter any table, alter any, any column or anything. Because SQLize is there to do all these things with you. So first we are not talking about migration, we are talking about the simple setup of SQLize where we will just connect with our database using just user ID password and then we will just create some table and we will see how SQLize is a promised based utility which is using Bluebird indirectly. So you see this is the connection object. So if you are doing with the MySQL then mysql.create connection and connection.connect will give you the connection object and you will from that you will be verifying that connection is has been done or not right so we will just go one by one first of all how to get connection so this is just a default way of getting the mysql connection new sqlize in the constructor pass all your attributes username password uh, first of all database name username password and dialect is mysql it can be sqlite all these dialect means what is their data source type okay now later you can just actually define the model so here i'm defining the schema model same way we do that with the node.js with the mongoose or same way we are doing with the node.js with mysql connection dot connection dot define here i'm defining the user so it will be treated as a table in mysql and here these are the types i have added uuid sqlize dot uuid so it will assign the random uuid which is going to be the primary key default value is this name and bio so these are the name is of type string so always we will talk about we will check the documentation what this string represents in mysql what type it is representing war care or uh, uh, long wire care or something there is a text right so once the connection is done so how we will make sure that connection is there and everything is fine so that we will do with the there is a sync utility which sqlize is providing and it's a promise based connection dot sync force true so we'll talk about this connection.sync, what it is doing. So it is taking two argument, sync option, right? Options and sync option. Sync option, if it is true, then it will sync all the defined options in the database. So force true means it will drop all the data and it will create a new one. Right? then it is connection of database successfully established. So node server.js, you see database error, unknown database card db. So first what we will do, we will create a database in our database. RDB. Uh, let's create create schema. RDB is there now. So you can see uh, drop table if exist user. So who is executing this query drop table if exist users because we did a sync force true. So if it is already existing drop it and then it is creating this table because we have already defined this user schema in that card db database. So it is going to create a new user table create user not exist UUID work at 30 binary and all these things all these things right. So this is sync utility is actually doing that. So before starting our server, we should run the sync utility. Uh, so we can just do this inside a promise also. So if everything is succeeded, then you can just run it. Right. So connection established successfully. Now we are starting the server because everything is done. So in MySQL, we are just creating the table so if you just check out our database then we should be able to see that uh, table created here right it is having the same uh, descriptions and all we can get the info about the query these are the columns 
right uuid name bio created at updated at so these are the default columns being added in the database and this is our uuid is a primary key where cat 30 where cat 255 so text and uh, string string will always takes 255 in mysql database so there is a database column mapping with a database uh, column type mapping with the sequelized types so that we will see in the documentation you can see if we just see this new, new sequelize what are the different ways of creating uh, the connections right you just need to pass null all these options are there you can just pass the complete database string also or you can just pass the database username password and uh, the your what is dialect which defines what kind of database it is okay